Hello Libra, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do your weekly uh, love reading. It'll be for May the 4th, 2017, and then ending on May the 11th. So welcome to the channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I do provide private readings. You can contact me at the website below. Um, oops, some of my cards are flipped over. All right, so I am just going to call to the spirits, call to the spirit guides, ancestors, or whoever. Uh, for the Libras. It's going to be for love, okay? So this will be your love forecast. This reading may not resonate for all of you Libras. Um, again, getting a personal reading is my recommendation. And right now, my 30-minute readings are on sale for 25, all right? So we're going to look at, um, I'll lay out eight, eight cards for each day of the week. So we'll look at the 4th through the 11th. <clears throat> I can see that there's going to be some endings this week for some Libras. Um, looks like there's definitely. Um, I can tell that for the fourth, you know, Libras were dealing with with uh, probably the energy of feeling, um, feeling like you're stuck with the hanged man. So this card represents the fourth. Uh, which was all day today. Um, just kind of going back retroactively as to what the hanged man was about. Typically, the hanged man is indicating that things are sort of up in the air with your situation. So I'm going to ask Spirit to give me more clarity on this for today. All right. Yeah, Seven of Swords. So you actually got Seven of Swords twice, okay? Just to let you know what your cards are. are. For Friday, you got the Eight of Wands. For Saturday, you got the Five of Swords, which seems like there's going to be some pressure coming from, you know, whatever your relationship is. If you're single, it's probably going to be coming from an ex, possibly. Um, for Saturday, you got the Five of Swords. For Sunday, the Wheel of Fortune. Um... Sunday, you got Seven of Swords. <clears throat> Hold on. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you got the Hierophant. Wednesday, you got the Seven of Wands. And then for Thursday, you got the Death card. So I can see some things are closing, uh, maybe even some endings, especially with the Wheel of Fortune coming up. And then the Death card. Okay? So let's go over what's going on for today, though. I can see that you were possibly... Uh, dealing with some kind of unethical situation. You can definitely tell that for a majority of the Libras, there was some sort of uh, competition in your love life. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to ask Spirit to give me advice on that. You do got the Moon card at the bottom of the deck. Or not do got, you do have. <laughs> you have... <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask Spirit about all of these cards in the hanged man and what advice to offer the Libras for whatever this situation is. You're sort of not, there's a, there's a trust issue in your relationship, and this is the reason why you can't move forward. <clears throat> However, when you're dealing with some kind of love situation and there's competition, okay, now the chariot comes up, uh, Spirit is definitely saying to move forward, okay? Um, there's a destiny awaiting for you. You know what I'm saying? With the chariot coming up. So this represents transportation, progression, and movement. Okay? <clears throat> so I feel like today, <clears throat> for a majority of Libras, you've been feeling that way. Now, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're not breaking up, but you're sort of severing ties with some people, then you can still see the tensions uh, rising between you and your partner because of this trust issue I can tell that on Friday uh, the eight of eight of wands is when your partner is putting a lot of pressure on you <clears throat> I kind of feel like your partner could be 
a fire sign. Um, not a whole lot of court cards have came out yet, except for maybe the Hierophant is considered to be some kind of spiritual religious figure of importance. But I'll go ahead and uh, ask Spirit to give me clarity on this Eight of Wands. Okay. The Nine of Wands. So I feel like you're going to be feeling some sort of energy coming in from another air sign. It could also be yourself. Um, I feel like if it's not your partner, then it could be you. Okay. And then the Nine of Pentacles comes up next. Really good, a uh, really good card to get as far as with your finances, Libra. But what I'm seeing is that, you know, there is pressure placed upon the relationship. It's based upon some of your old friends, people that, you know, um, <clears throat> probably don't serve you any purpose, people that probably, you know, probably or you know putting pressure on you in some kind of way i'm gonna ask spirit to give me some advice for tomorrow the eight of wands doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad situation but i say that because of the five of swords that's coming up saturday so i kind of feel like you're going to be under some pressure things are going to be moving really fast so you don't want to make hasty decisions i'm pretty sure that's what spirit is going to tell me <clears throat> the star card so i feel like you're healing Absolutely from some sort of post-traumatic stress type of situation. Typically that's, you know, some kind of trauma. That's what the star card means. Healing from some kind of trauma, but then also being the center of attention. So I feel like on Friday, your partner is really going to be giving you that, that attention. But then on Saturday, I feel like it's either going to be you or your partner that's sort of starting these arguments. And I think that it has to do with um, some kind of love competition. I don't feel like you are at, you are in a exclusive relationship. I kind of feel as though this is for people that are, you know, sort of dealing with other energies, okay? Especially with that five of wands and then the chariot coming up. It just represents waste of energy, okay? You're wasting energy on something. Um, spirits, give me clarity on five of swords. So again, I, I don't just do these readings for just one particular Libra or just one particular case. I mean, there's probably, you know, a lot of Libras out there, millions, hundreds of thousands of Libras. So, you know, to try to read for all of those people, you know, it's kind of difficult. But so for a majority, you can check your rising sign. But I do see some petty arguments uh, coming in on Saturday. They, they don't necessarily have to be petty. Oh, yeah. They're not petty. The moon card. So this is, you guys know what this means. This is, you know what, the five of swords next to the, to the moon card, what that means. What that means is that petty arguments are going to add up sort of during the day. And then also I feel like because it's the swords i feel like libra is going to have some sort of issue with their partner or just with people period if you're single and i feel like this is going to come out as uh, emotions um you know maybe feeling paranoid maybe feeling like you know and i feel like this is coming from either you or your partner temperance comes up so i feel like maybe this is where you may be overindulging in something and you maybe you maybe need to slow down okay so the temperance card can represent codependency addiction okay being in a codependent relationship being in a codependent relationship can be good or bad okay again i'll just say that but i feel like because of the petty arguments uh, temperance comes up because it's basically where you've sort of exhausted all of your all of your own things and you just have to kind of call on God or the angels, especially with this moon card coming up. Now, I will tell you that if this isn't your relationship, then this is just somebody sending negative psychic energy to you. OK, um, going into Sunday, you got the will of fortune. So this is where things are sort of going to change. Okay, and then it's sort of something's going on from there. 
So I'll clarify all of these cards before I assume. But the Wheel of Fortune, it does represent changes, you know, cyclic changes or how things change, okay? Now, it could be, you know, very positive. The Wheel of Fortune usually tells of good fortune. It just depends on the surrounding cards. Your next card for Monday is the Seven of Swords. Okay, so unfortunately, it looks like there is going to be fighting, treachery, arguments, disagreements, distrust within your relationship. Spirits, give me clarity on the Wheel of Fortune for the Libras. Um, yeah, I feel like your partner is a fire sign person. The Empress comes up. Okay, so that's actually pretty positive. All right, on Sunday, the Empress comes up. This is pointing to sexual energy. So you can kind of see where it's sort of an up and down type of situation, right? Then coming up for Monday, you get the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is kind of where you're back at it again. I do really feel like you are in sort of a turbulent type of relationship, whoever this is with, where things are constantly changing. Especially if you're with a fire sign. Fire and air... They're not the same, but they do sort of act the same. But the fire sign energy is very intense. Kind of playing maybe a power, maybe it's a power struggle going on with your fire sign and they're not going to let you win. Okay, I'm just telling you, you know. Spirits, give me clarity on Seven of Swords on Monday. Okay, let's see the devil. So the devil is representing... Um, feeling like you're sacrificing yourself, feeling it's it's some sort of abusive relationship. I'm gonna ask Spirit, is it? Um, what more can I tell Libra about the Devil card? Definitely an unhealthy attachment. Again, I could sense something attached to you. Whatever it is, is very telepathic, very psychic connection with whoever that is. Um, Spirit, give me clarity on the Devil card for the Libras. What more can I tell the Libra's about the devil card on Monday. All right. So you're going to be feeling blocked. You got repeat numbers, so you're giving, getting a lot of sevens, okay? You're going to be feeling blocked. Um, is what I'm seeing. Feeling stuck in your relationship, okay? The page of wands is representing maybe your significant other or partner and they're communicating something to you. Has something to do with the king of cups. This could be your mother, your father, or either a person. Um, I'm going to clarify more about the seven of swords and I'll clarify with the cosmic tarot. By the way, I am using the cosmic tarot um, and I am also using uh, the Black Cat Tarot deck. So if you want any of these decks, I do have them available for purchase. So just contact me. Um, I also do have items available on the website that you can order. All right, so I'm going to ask Spirit to give me some clarity on the Seven of Swords. Okay, King of Pentacles. So I feel like you're going to be fighting about money. Okay, absolutely. Um, that's one of the leading causes of separation or divorce. Okay, Six of Pentacles comes next. This is where you have possibly invested your time, your energy, and you want some kind of return on the time that you invested. So it's either where you're giving or you're receiving. At any rate, I feel like the Seven of Swords is representing difficulty in giving and receiving. Believe it or not, um, this could be the partner that you're dealing with. There are some people that just have a hard time with you doing things for them. I don't know why. Okay, I like for people to do things for me personally, but, you know. <laughs> I like gifts and stuff. And, and, you know, for people to say, hey, just kind of chill out and let me handle that. You know, I don't have to do everything. So I'm one of the type of people, hey, can you take that in your room, please? It's, it's too loud. I know. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead and take that in your room. Get your bowl drink your milk. I'm sorry guys. He wanted cereal. I'm going to eat cereal too. Um, Tuesday you got the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is representing um, maybe your significant other sort of keeping an eye on you. You know, I feel like you're definitely at a standstill possibly because there's some sort of spiritual chaos surrounding around your spiritual belief system. Okay, even though you may agree 
it's still it's a spiritual thing so this is energy coming in through either a father or a spiritual religious leader or something um let me ask spirit to give me clarity on this hierophant it could be anything it could be different situations a lot of times uh the emperor and the death card try to turn over a lot of times the hierophant does represent self-acceptance needing to accept yourself and and being okay with being different not fitting in with a crowd okay so that's actually a big lesson that a lot of people have to learn so, you know, try not to fit in with people that you don't fit in with or either, especially if they're unethical. So I can see that you do have some um, unethical people around you, Libra. Maybe you may be doing some unethical things, okay? The Hierophant is there to represent. You get what you get and you don't know a fit. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask Spirit to give me clarity on this Hierophant. What is he doing? Why is he watching the Libra? Sometimes the Hierophant can represent certainty. It can represent marriage um, or either some kind of approval. But the surrounding cards, you got the Seven of Wands and, and the Death card is at the end. But don't worry about the Death card. We need to clarify that first. All right, so the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you, for the most part, are possibly going to... Uh, be starting something new having to do or either just feeling really good about self you know this is your solar plexus your security rebuilding yourself I kind of feel like the energies have been really really toxic especially from what I'm seeing you're going to be dealing with some toxicity you are coming up uh, this Saturday it's going to be different for all of you some of you, it's just your spirits. <clears throat> Sometimes the moon card will make you think, okay? And then the ace of wands. So I feel like this is about your identity, how you identify yourself as a person. Uh, maybe your, your spiritual religious identity could be what that is. Could be different for different people. At any rate, the ace of wands does mean starting something new or either starting over. However, for Wednesday, you got the Seven of Wands. So you're stuck. You're stuck again with the Seven of Wands. You're feeling stuck. Okay, so it does seem, you know, kind of like things change. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, Libras do change a lot. That's why they are represented by the scales. Okay, so I'm going to ask Spirit, why the Seven of Wands? What's going on? You can see that you're going to have to assert yourself. And that doesn't mean that you're unstable. I mean, everybody has to assert themselves. But you can kind of see where things are sort of <clears throat> changing. Okay? Um, it may even be a change that you see on Sunday. But on Sunday, I can see that there's the energies are really good on that day. Um, I really honestly believe that you could be in a relationship with someone that's not available, actually. Okay, and so that's why things could be up and down because, you know, um, the Hierophant could represent someone married. The Seven of Wands is representing feeling stuck. So let's, or being blocked. Let me see what's going on with that. Or just having to assert yourself, dealing with some uh, attacks on your personal identity or your security. Okay, so the Wands is a representation of your root chakra. All right, Six of Wands, this is about your church family. This is about your inner circle, the people that you have around you, okay? The chariot comes up representing progression. Could mean that things are going to go in a positive direction for you with the chariot coming up. This is actually the Cancer card, and it represents fluid and movement, being able to go with the flow. If you have a setback, you don't necessarily go off about it. You don't let it knock you down. It seems like you're very sensitive to setbacks because the chariot showed up twice. <clears throat> it's typically because you're wasting your energy on something. Now, for Thursday, you did get the death card. This could represent endings, okay? Um, or either endings and then new beginnings. So where one door closes, another one opens. But I'm going to put more clarifiers on the death card. Spirits, what's up with this death card? What is it that is ending? What cycle is ending? So especially under that Wheel of Fortune, you can tell that a cycle is ending. Okay. Oh, got the Wheel of Fortune card again. <clears throat> so the death card does represent intensity of change. And then so does the Wheel of Fortune. The next card that you got is the Magician. 
So this is where you may be feeling manipulated. The magician is a major arcana representing where you may feel that your destiny. See, all of these cards point to your fate and your destiny. You see that? That is a very interesting card combination. I love my card combos. So basically, the changes that you're going through in your life are because you have not mastered your own destiny. It kind of indicates that you may be getting manipulated, especially with that moon card. Okay, it could be esoteric manipulation or just manipulation, period. That's what the magician represents, a manipulation of energy. But it also indicates that, you know, someone trying to manipulate your destiny and you have to take that control into your own hands, okay? Even when it comes to your relationship, I can see some victim playing, blaming your partner. Okay, the high priestess is going to come in. She's going to reveal something to you. I know that sounds cryptic. We'll try to figure out what it is. It could be different. Typically, it's about false associations. It's, you know, that's what the high priestess could be about. I'm going to ask Spirit to give me clarity on the high priestess. What is it that she's bringing into this reading? Okay, the hanged man. So you got that hanged man twice, so that's a repeat card. Um, I feel as though it's going to be revealed to you that maybe... You know, you're sacrificing your happiness for something that isn't worth it. You know what I mean? Next card is the Three of Cups. So I do feel as though there is going to be some sort of process um, that you're going to go through. The Three of Cups could represent, you know, having joy and peace in your life. Could represent some sort of love reunion. At any rate, if you're single, you definitely need to move forward in your life. Because whatever you've got going on is changing too much. You know, and you can you can kind of see where the changes are really, you know, causing some unhappiness for you. But the Three of Cups definitely does represent some sort of reunion. What's the next card? The Strength card. So I feel like this is where you reunite with your strength. You reunite with your uh, willpower and your, you know, your strength to survive and overcome. I also do believe that there is anxiousness, not necessarily anxiety. But being very anxious. Now, the moon card does represent anxiety, but anxiety attacks and panic attacks are typically different. This is where you're just anxious. You're on edge, okay? And the strength card could represent something, uh, something that has to do with your mind that you need to overcome, okay? So typically some kind of mind fuckery or something, all right? If you want a private reading, the link to my website is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching, Libra. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and that you support the channel by hitting the thumbs up. All right, I'll see you guys later. Namaste.